Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, welcome for the first time. Hope you enjoy the uh, past videos. And um, the season is just starting here in uh, Ontario, Canada. So, uh, and there have been lots of questions on my uh, past videos. So I thought, um, seeing it was a nice day, it's time to get out and uh, have a fast lunch in the woods. Um, there have been a lot of questions about my uh, cash box stove and as the name implies uh, it is a stove wood stove made from an old cash box uh, I didn't have any cash to put in it so um, I figured I may as well use it to burn wood in um, anyway um, if you can imagine the whole thing in one piece on this side would have been the keyhole to lock the cash box. The lid would open and you'd take your money out or put money in, whatever. Um, anyway, what I did is uh, just cut the front part of the box off. And um, the only other thing I did is uh, make a, a grate of sorts um, with some, uh, some wire some wire meshing and I just uh, folded it up at the ends so it would stay off the, the bottom a little bit got some air under the, under the wood and I've just done that and it um, has worked for a couple of years and uh, um, no problems um, one thing I found is because I left the lid on when I put it up in camp that acts as a reflector reflects the heat back um, which, which works out very nicely. Um, the other thing I did is cut a part of a, a microwave oven uh, rack. As far as measurements go, the cash box is 10 inches long, seven inches wide, and uh, three and a half inches deep so it's just a regular cash box you can uh, you can pick up anywhere and um, I figured I'd recycle this one um, and it works good for me anyway if you'd like to stay tuned um, I'll head out into the woods and uh, cook up some uh, cook up some lunch through here. It's like a, quite a deer trail coming through here. A lot of deer. Could be old tracks though I guess. This looks like a nice little place. Always bring a, a glove with me too. Whenever you're working with fire and metal and pots and pans, it's always nice to have a, a glove so you don't burn your hands. You know, just have a couple of sticks to just to keep it off the ground. So a while back when I was into uh, leather work for a little bit, um, I made up uh, a belt pouch. What I have inside is a small uh, Altoids tin with just uh, fire steel, some tinder, 
and um, a knife. And hopefully it still works because I haven't used it for a while. Oh yeah, she'll be good. Now I've got uh, dryer lint, which is my favorite tinder. And uh, usually it Oh, actually, it <laughs> caught on the birch bark. Well, whatever works, right? It's pretty easy. Fire's going pretty good now. Getting down to uh, Few little coals. Put the rack on. Now I brought my little uh, rock frying pan. I love this thing. Um, it's been great for me and uh, just the right size for uh, cooking for one. And the uh, little sp curved spatula that I made. A little bit the hot dogs on the rack. To the side here so they don't do it too fast. It's a non stick uh, pan, so uh, I don't make the mess I used to with my small Boy Scout kind of mess kit thing. This has just been great. I've had some great comments on my on my uh, channel, YouTube channel, um, of late, and I was getting uh, I was getting kind of down about this long winter. So your comments have inspired me to get out and get going again. A simple lunch just on the back 40 here and uh, this is just great. It's gonna taste so good. Tastes so good. I love onions on a hot dog. Love my onions. about done I'm thinking. I may I'll get some some water on for the hot chocolate and uh, chow down on a hot dog. This is one of the handiest pieces of kit I've, I've got. Water uh, flask and a pot and a cup all in one shot. The pre-mustarded couple of pieces of bread here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this looks so good. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Mm.
uh, another bonus of the uh, cash box stove or any um, any small portable fire pit and you can move it around and when you're done you can uh, pick it up and put the ashes dispose of the ashes it works great Well, thanks for that, everybody. And thanks for watching my videos. Um, I think I'm pushing eight, 800 or something now. Um, but I've said before, it really, I'm not going for the subscriptions count. Um, I just enjoy, enjoy that other people are enjoying what I'm showing them and uh, oh, to get out here on a day like this after uh, winter really lifts the spirits it's kind of a, a spring time of renewal time of re regrowth um, lots of things have been happening um, but uh, for for everything that uh, kind of goes awry hopefully there is a, a balancing force of goodness of freshness of renew There's a few projects I've been working on and uh, hopefully you can join me for uh, videos on uh, working on my tracker, overland vehicle, off-road vehicle. Um, you can join me on my next canoe trip, which I hope will be soon, although Algonquin Park is probably fairly frozen right now um, if we are down here. I'm just a bit further north. I hope to get some fishing in. And uh, lots of things like that. But the main thing I need to do and I want to do is just relax. Times like this. Just breathe in the, uh, the nature around you. And even the smoke's going the right way today, so I'm actually breathing, which is good. Still a lot of snow in the bush, but it's thinning. It's thinning. Anyway, thanks for joining me, and um, take care of yourself, and uh, see you soon.